So in the second part, we will completely focus on the drop zone JS configurations and showing the images in the view. So first thing will be obviously to show the images which are currently there in the gallery, right? So let's open up the view blade and inside that first quickly let's see if we are able to fetch the data so it's a gallery and inside gallery I should have something as images right quickly refresh you can see I'm getting some data which means my relations are working so quickly I will set up the markup through which I will be showing the images okay so this is the markup I have a div row column md12 inside that I have an ID gallery images this is the container and inside that I am printing out all the images in a ULLI and this is my for each I have the href tag where I'm getting the image file path and in image source I'm getting the file path again go to the browser hit refresh obviously it's going out of the current page but we can easily fix that with the CSS part now let me quickly upload one more image and hit refresh so you can see I have two images coming one below the other our logic is working and now quickly let me add some styling so that these images actually look like thumbnails instead of those full-blown images and by the way if I click on any one of the image it gives me the full image I know this is basic stuff but we will later on also implement lightbox to give a full gallery view so I come back to my text editor and time to write some CSS I'll put all the code here and then I'll just go through it okay so very basic stuff I have gallery images I have put some hard-coded width right now to the image 2 pixel border some margin button the UL have zero margin padding and the list styling is done so that the images come one after the other and this is how the final output looks two thumbnails clicking on them getting the full view and let's go to any other gallery and upload three more images one two three hit refresh and we have three images here as well okay with this done we don't need the blade right now close the controller as well and it's time to write some JavaScript now what do we need to do first thing is I will need to hard code few rules when I'm uploading the images the convention is if I need to write any option values to the drop zone object I can do drop zone dot options dot then it's the ID of the form in our case blade view sorry it's the gallery view if you see my form name is add images right so I can just copy it and say this it's an object inside this the first thing which I will set is max file size equals to and why don't I go through the documentation so that you also understand what are the different configurations so as you can see I have max file size as 2 MB and there's one more option where I can set the image sorry the file type so where was it yes so I have accepted files copy that and we can say I'll accept all images right so image slash star okay and last thing is I need a callback once the image has been uploaded successfully to the server there is one event which we get 
if we quickly go down to the event section we have a success callback the file has been uploaded successfully gets the server response as second argument so we will say success is a function the first argument is the file the second is the response from the server and in that I will console dollar file and I will also console the response now I need to compile my JS file so I'll say gulp watch and it is working quickly come to my browser and hit refresh if I click that upload button you can see the XLS file is not selectable which means my first rule of validation is working which is I am accepting only images now if I upload one image I should get a success callback right yes now I got the file object obviously but the second was empty which means I am not returning anything from my controller that's the reason I didn't get anything as server response quickly come here go to the last part and what I will do is I will say return dollar image this is what is being saved so I will get the entire object back on my browser so hit refresh upload one more image and yes this time we are getting the file as well as the object I can see that the ID of the image is 8 it's for the gallery with ID 1 because we are on gallery ID 1 now I can write some JavaScript so that the last image which is uploaded can quickly come here right let's go back to a JavaScript file I'll say where handle drop zone file upload it's a new object and in this I'll have two functions one is handle error which is a function obviously I'll pass the response and the second one is handle success which is again a function I'll pass the response all right now I know in my file object I'll get a status so I can say dollar file dot status if this is equals equals success then I'll call handle drop zone file upload dot success and I'll pass the response else I'll say handle so dot error again pass the response quickly check whether we are getting the correct thing or not oops copy paste time to check right come here hit refresh and let's upload one image again app.js line number 18 which means we are inside success I need to append the new image in this UL right I have the current file path inside response dot file path so what I will do is I'll say where image list equals Sorry. the ID was gallery images UL this is my object and I'll say image source equals base URL plus this plus response dot file underscore path so this is the image source which I'll need to append dollar image list dot append now time for some concatenation it's an li 
inside that I have an href Inside that I have an image with SRC right now close it I'll say here image source and one more which I can copy this and So let's quickly check. We have an li which is getting closed. We have an a tag which is getting closed here. And href is correct. Inside image, the source is this. Okay. Seems to be correct. Let's quickly hit refresh. I'll upload one image. And yes, we get the new image automatically appended in the new section right so yeah our images are getting uploaded we will get to some other gallery family I have already nine images okay so one quick change I don't know how many images are there in each gallery so what we will do is quickly open up the gallery view blade oh sorry it's not the gallery view but the gallery blade in this table, this table, yeah, I will show the number of images which are there in this gallery. So, how do we go about that? I can say inside a span class with pull right, and in this, let's clean it up a bit. Span here, inside this. I'll say gallery because I'm inside the for each loop images and I'll get a property count. This is all possible because we have the relationship set up inside our model. Hit refresh and we get the count. So we have nine images here. We have two images in monsoon picnic. Let's put some in the office picnic. I'll select all the four images and we have the four images here as well refresh we see the same thing go back and now there are four images in this gallery and personal pics has no images whatsoever so yeah that's about it that's how we can implement drop zone to drag and drop images oh, uh, if I if you need a demo you can see if I go in my finder desktop and if I try to drag images as well you now it does that brilliantly and gives me this wonderful gallery type of feel in the next tutorial we will set up the light box and give the user the option to click on the thumbnail to see an enlarged version in a model pop-up and click next next to view all the images in that gallery